rescue group calling for stricter laws against animal abuse. We do want to warn you, some of the images in this story are disturbing. The most recent case, a six-month-old pit bull shot in the face and left to die. Fur says this is its fifth dog found in the last two years with a gunshot wound. You may remember yesterday we showed you this malnourished dog. Fur got police involved there after finding it tied up in an abandoned home. Destiny McKeever is live tonight with more on these cases. Destiny. Ethan, members of FUR are pushing to get stricter laws against animal cruelty, they say, to see the way some of these animals are treated is frustrating and heartbreaking. Very disappointing to see the way people treat animals on a daily basis. Disappointed is an understatement to describe the way Mike Merrill feels about animal cruelty. Florida Rescue Group took in this girl after a gunshot to the face. So they sedated Zoe and did her x-rays and it turns out that she was actually shot. She had the entrance wound up here that shattered a top molar creased across her tongue and then broke through her jaw down here. Zoe is the fifth dog within the last couple years taken in by fur with a gunshot wound. The rescue group says Florida law isn't strict enough to combat the growing problem. Right now, aggravated animal cruelty is punishable with up to $10,000 and one year in jail. Fur's founder says he thinks the punishment is too light. All it takes is ordinary people to speak out when they see something going on that shouldn't be going on. And right now, Fur is raising money to help with Zoe G's medical expenses. If you would like to help out with that, you can go over to our website, news4jags.com. Reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station.